some time ago, uh, I made a video about how to connect a passive subwoofer into a home theater because normally you need an active subwoofer and a, a subwoofer that has an amplifier integrated into it. You don't need the crossover because the output of the uh, home theater amplifier already has a uh, pre-out with the filter uh, signal for the subwoofer so, so you only need an amplifier in a subwoofer but most of the optic subwoofers already have a crossover in it too so i'm going to use this old uh, subwoofer from Bose. i remove the amplifier because you cannot use it with other devices and i have to make sure it, it works because i have to wire it in in series because my amplifier requires at least six ohms so i put it from here to here so it makes a serious connection. It will zoom the op the ohms from the first subwoofer to the ohms of the second subwoofer. So it's going to give me eight ohms. You, uh, because as you can see here in the picture, my receiver requires at least six ohms. I have here sometimes in the comments that, well, I read in the comments that the ohms doesn't uh, matter, but it's not entirely true. You need to stick with whatever specification your amplifier has. If you put a two ohms speaker into an eight ohm amplifier, uh, you are going to burn the amplifier. And the same if your amplifier requires four ohms and you put 60 ohms on it, you will burn it. So try to stick to whatever ohms your amplifier is asked you to, to put in the output. So turning over this unit, as you can see, I already wired the from speakers and the center speaker. And we have this output for the surround back. The 7.1 amplifier has two surround sounds and multi sounds amplifier has this second sound that you can use or sound number two. Uh, that you can use independently of the rest of the amplifier. So we are going to use this sound number two as an amplifier for the subwoofers. You will see how we are going to inject the signal into this. So you have to identify, read your owner's manual first. I'm not an expert in any equipment, so if you ask me about a Yamaha or, or a Fisher or some other uh, amplifier, I, I will won't know. So you need to read your manual. In this case, here are the controls for the sound two of my or multi sound of my receiver. So all you have to do is to identify whatever component you need to configure it in your amplifier and configure it appropriately or accordingly with the manual in order to make make it sound independently of the other five speakers on the, your system. Your main speakers, the one you have in your living room the center speaker, left, right, surround back, uh, surround uh, left and right and subwoofer are your main son. And these other two are the back surround or the multi son. You can put it in another room. So the way we are going to inject the, the subwoofer sound is to wire the subwoofer out, pre out to the input th that you have selected for the son two and then wire the subwoofer to the sound to sound to or multi sound output like like i'm going to do in here right now what i recommend you if you have never used the sound two of your amplifier and you can make a drink game of how many times i'm going to say it's on two but i'm going to say it a lot too, so we can make it clear but the first step I recommend you to do is to configure the sound two on your amplifier and make it work normally, as you would have used it intended, as the manual said, that you are going to connect one source for to be output into sound two, and you are going to input another sound for the main sound of the, your, your amplifier. So we are going to inject sound from the computer into the some of the analog input of the amplifier and wire the subwoofer speakers into the sound two uh, output and then test that we you, we can hear that music from there. Uh, in this case, I'm wiring the, uh, the subwoofers to this this output of the multi -son, but it's going to sound as a normal speakers because at the end, subwoofers are just speakers that are designed to respond to a lower frequency. 
but in this case I'm going to inject this sound normally from the computer and you have to hear the sound normally on the on the subwoofer uh, as just as a initial test but once that we have uh, checked that the multi sound or the sound 2 is working accordingly then we are going to replace the sound from the computer with the sound of the subwoofer in just a moment as you can see i installed this small speaker also just to test that we had the subwoofer sound in the two or in this case the sound from the computer in both sides of the sound two or the multi sound and again since my system requires six ohms at, at least and my subwoofers are for four, four ohms uh, I have to wire both of them in, in series in order to get uh, 8 ohms. Uh, if you put it in parallel, the ohms are going to be divided between two. If, the, if they are the same uh, ohms for each of the speakers, if they are 4 and 4 ohms, uh, in parallel there will be 2 ohms, but in series will be 8 ohms. So if you have a 8, eight ohms speaker, no problem, you just connect it directly. Oh, if your amplifier requires 8 ohms or 60 ohms. So these are my main speakers. You can call it the main zone. And the subwoofers are going to be the multi zone or the back to round or the zone number two. So we are going to connect this source from the computer to the analog in of the CD. Make sure that you remember the, what, which input did you put your source. Now, if you go to the front panel of the amplifier, make sure that the music is playing. We have BLC playing so fr some free music. And now in the front panel, if you, if you have the same system, well, you are going to do the same like me, but if you have another system, well, you read the manual to see how to assign a source to the so multi -zone. In this case, I have to press this button to turn on the sum 2 and then I press the other they call it control so you can control whatever source and the volume of the sum 2 so I selected CD because we injected a source into the CD input make sure it's an analog input the sum 2 doesn't receive digital inputs and we adjust the volume and you can hear that there is sound coming out from the subwoofer and the little speaker in the front. Again, you are not going to hear the subwoofer sound like a subwoofer because the the signal is a pure pure signal, not not filter one. Okay. Once we make sure that the, we have uh, correctly set, set up the sum 2 of the multi sound we can now just turn the unit back and disconnect the current source to the we are feeding to the multi zone in this case the computer these two red wires and we are going to feed them with the pre out of the subwoofer these two are going to be connected into these two so we disconnect this this was the test sound and we are going to plug another pair or rcas into the input that we use for the multi zone and put it into the pre out of the autos of the subwoofer most of subwoofers doesn't have two output for the subwoofer so you can use a white adapter or you can just uh, wire one of the inputs if you are going to connect just one uh, subwoofer and also we are going to connect again the source from the computer in any other analog input just to test that the subwoofer is working as expected. So for the other test, we selected the DVD input. The DVD input will be the main input for the for everything in the in the receiver. So we select DVD and pop up the volume. We increase the volume and we he should hear the music in the main speakers and the subwoofer should sound like a subwoofer now.
as you can hear we, we oh, well maybe if you don't have the headphones but now we have a sound in the subwoofer but it's not enough even that we have the volume at the maximum it's not enough so you can go into your amplifier home setup select the speaker setup and change the level of the input for the subwoofer in this case make sure the subwoofer is activated also should say yes i don't know how it will be in your receiver uh, but you can check the other two i i make a video for the denon and also for an onkyo you can check those if you have other receiver if not check your of this manual so i'm going to go here and increase the level of the subwoofer and hear that So now we have it at the maximum. So let's test it with music again. Let's go out from this menu and put some music on. So now the subwoofer is too loud, so you can always just increase or decrease the volume in the sound too. And whenever you increase the volume of the main main source, it will lower or increase the volume of the of the subwoofer pre-out. So you don't need to be modifying the volume independently. Okay, in, in my opinion, it sounds very good. It, it is like if you had set up a, an active subwoofer in there, it's, it, the sound is pretty, very, very good. Uh, some people have said in the comments that uh, you should not do this because you are going to burn the amplifier. It's not entirely true. Even that the, these kind of receivers are not designed to work 100%. The, the power supply or the transformer doesn't have enough power to supply 100 watts in each of the eight, uh, seven speakers. But people most of the time doesn't use their amplifier at, at 100%. If you are listening to a movie in your home or a concert, I, I'm pretty sure you don't have it at the top of the volume. You have like an 80% at top at, at the most. So it's not a problem if you use the multi-zone for the subwoofer, it will put a, a little bit more of, of work into your amplifier, but it's not going to be at 100% of the time because you don't, the sound for the subwoofer is, is not that often or, or that, uh, persistent all the time so it, again this is only if you don't have an active subwoofer if you have an active subwoofer it is, is much simpler you just connect it to the subwoofer pre-out and that's it but in this case you can use any speaker that you have laying around uh, maybe a subwo active subwoofer that the amplifier has burned out and you can just eliminate the amplifier and connect it this way so it's up to you. Thank you very much for watching me, my videos and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.